I'm Dr. Stanley Martin Cohen from the section of Hepatology at Loyola University Medical Center in Chicago. I'll be presenting a video abstract on our paper, Legal Ramifications for Physicians of Patients Who Drive with Hepatic Encephalopathy. I'll be presenting on behalf of myself as well as my co-authors, Abraham Kim, Maria Metropolis, and Dr. Joseph Ahn. With regard to introduction and background, hepatic encephalopathy is a spectrum of neuropsychiatric abnormalities seen in patients with liver dysfunction. The spectrum can range from minimal hepatic encephalopathy all the way to overt hepatic encephalopathy. It isn't surprising to anyone that overt hepatic encephalopathy is associated with increased uh, traffic violations as well as motor vehicle accidents. But based on significant amount of recent data, we've now learned that even minimal hepatic encephalopathy can be associated with impairment of driving. Interestingly, there is very little out there with regard to standardized rules or regulations for physicians and other healthcare workers for referring patients to the, the state's Department of Motor Vehicles. In the absence of these statutes and laws, we were concerned that physicians and the patients could be at risk for legal ramifications if accidents occurred. Thus, the purpose of our study was to determine each state's motor vehicle codes with regard to potential hepatic encephalopathy and also determine if any lawsuits existed against physicians or their patients for any motor vehicle accidents which may have occurred as a result of hepatic encephalopathy. Our materials and methods were divided into two parts. The first part was to determine what the various states' codes were with regard to their motor vehicle laws. We contacted the Department of Motor Vehicle directly in each of the 50 states with a faxed questionnaire. We also followed up with telephone calls. We also reviewed each state's uh, motor vehicle codes, uh, both in hard copy as well as on their websites. We also used other existing databases. The second part of our study determined if there were any lawsuits which had been completed against the physicians or against the patients. We used a variety of legal databases to research these. I will note that uh, these databases only include those cases which had been completed or adjudicated in a court of law. In terms of results, we found that the various states define medically impaired drivers in many different ways. This, they use terms such as altered consciousness, lapses in consciousness, cognitive impairment, and neuropsychiatric disorders. Although no state specifically mentioned hepatic encephalopathy or confusion related to cirrhosis or advanced liver disease, it's possible that several of those more general terms could have incorporated hepatic encephalopathy. Only six states had mandatory reporting laws for physicians. These were California, Delaware, Nevada, New Jersey, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. 35 states were permissive, meaning that they would allow reporting, but interestingly, 31% of those did not provide legal immunity to the reporting healthcare worker. Nine states had no specific statutes on this topic, and 89% of them did not provide immunity. In terms of reviewing the actual legal databases, we found 176 cases that uh, came up with our query terms. After reviewing each and every one of these 176 cases, none of them involved a physician or a patient with hepatic encephalopathy being sued for a motor vehicle accident related to a patient with hepatic encephalopathy. In conclusion, what we found was that there really was very little in terms of uniformity between the states in terms of defining medically impaired drivers. However, we felt that Hepatic encephalopathy, while not specifically named, could fall into some more general terms. We felt that we found that no completed lawsuits existed against the patients or against the uh, physicians. However, we felt that in the absence of definitive laws outlining this topic, that the onus of responsibility could still lie with the physician and or the patient. For this reason, we feel that at the minimum, physicians and other healthcare workers should carefully evaluate their cirrhotic patients for any degree of hepatic encephalopathy and finally address driving issues with them. Thank you very much.